Ari. This is new Thunderballs number four. Or Thunderballs number 85, if you use the original number one. This one is a tie-in to the story where Wolfman was brainwashed by Hydra. And we've got Swordman versus Wolfman. I thought I would cover this one because uh, the Lego game is acting as like a good prompt to get us to review our issues of Thunderballs. I unlocked a Swordman in that game. So here is a Swordman comic. This is by Fabio Nicieza and Wallace Gromit, who are a 10-star creative team. We've got Wolfman here. He has been brainwashed into being an assassin, and he's been sent to kill the other faction of Hydra, the one that is being led by Baron Hydra here. So that's our setup for this story. And there's an advert for one of the worst cast, worst made superhero films ever Swordman has also shown up to settle an hard grudge with Baron Hydra and at this point we didn't know who Swordman really is his identity is still a mystery but we later find out that he is Baron Hydra's son so this is all very interestingly handled uh, this is our first real extended look at Swordman 2 uh, we only saw him briefly in the issues before this as like little subplot pages and David Tennant is watching it all with his binoculars and then Wolfman joins the fray as in he joins the action not the fray as in the band the fray how to save a knife you know uh, we've got a cutaway here with the actual Thunderballs since this issue is mostly focusing on Swordman we've got a quick little catch up with the team here Mark real name Abe Speed McGee and Radiation Man. Two out of these three characters I have unlocked on that Lego game. Uh, really fun to play as Mark, real name Abe. Uh, I'm hoping Speed McGee is unlockable eventually because I really need a Thunderbars character with super speed. Uh, then we have got Blizzard Man. Hope he's in the game as well. Him and Speed McGee, they have an unhealthy relationship. It's quite toxic, really. Blizzard Man, he's actually trying to do some good. And Speed McGee, he's just not that interested in that. And he's constantly dragging Blizzard Man down. And there's Jostick's bum right there. And this bit here, it got my hopes up. Because it got on for a night out. And I thought it was going to be my favourite subplot in the history of the Thunderballs. But that's next issue. A bunch of the team decide to go into a strip club instead of saving the day. I just think it's a funny idea. It's not because I'm in the strip as or out like that. It's just a fun little idea. Song Girl is in the hospital because she had uh, a throat. And Atlas Man has gone to visit her. Uh, they used this design for Atlas Man in the Lego game. Uh, this was his costume that he started wearing in this series. It's not his original costume. I thought it was interesting that they chose this one. We've got a page here. It's catching us up on Captain Marbles. The real one is Janice Vell. But if you could work that out, first time you read this page, then you're just a barefaced liar. Then we get back to the bulk of the issue. The big set piece. Swordman fighting Wolfman. They're both trying to kill Baron Hydra. And Swordman, he wants to kill for himself because, unbeknownst to us, the readers, Baron Hydra is his dad. I think, I think I refer to this issue in another video, in my review of one of the Warren Fallis, Mike Diddy Dardo Jerk Thunderballs issues. In that run, they make Swordman into a proper little loser, like a real chump. A little Nancy boy was who gets his ass kicked all the time. Here, he's fighting Wolfman and... Oh God, that's a bit scary for an advert. It's giving us the heebie-jeebies. Here, he's like holding his own against Wolfman. And David Tennant, he's watching it again. That's how good of a fight it is. He's watching it. Uh, another thing is that Swordman's sword is made of adamantium, Like Wolfman's claws. So that's why Wolfman isn't just 
chopping up his sword. But then in the Warren Fallis run, he has a character just punch and shatter the blade of the sword with their bare fists. It's a really fun fight between Swordman and Wolfman, which ends with Swordman saving Wolfman from falling to his death, which is our first step towards making him into a hero. Uh, here he is forced to lick David Tennant's boots. That's not, that's not very heroic. Uh, there seems to be a lot of adverts in this comic. I think this is during that time when Marvel had more ads than story pages. Like, every other page is an advert. It's annoying, but I try to rein it in now and not get too annoyed by all the adverts. Uh, then we set up our next issue. Uh, Mark, real name Abe, is on a date with Karen Daggers, Miss Marbles, before they ruined her by making her into Brie Larson's. And then what happens is they get attacked by sea monsters from SeaWorld. And it's to be continued. And there's another awful superhero film. Really like this one. It's a nice spotlight on Swordman, who is as much as a new character. It's a fun tie-in to a Wolfman storyline. We even get some nice downtime moments with the rest of the team. So I give this seven thumbs up.